Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the new features from our latest point release, Liberty version 5, build 8.35. This release has new functionality in Search, also known as OPAC, the staff side, lots of integration features for those of you who also have a Lumen, our reference tracking and knowledge base product, and yet more staff options for Liberty Link, the mobile app. So, as always, we start out with the changes that are in the areas of most common use. So, let's start out with OPAC. First, you'll notice the RSS feed here. In the previous release, 834, we reintroduced the RSS feed, but we now understand that there were some network environments where it wasn't working quite right, but we've improved its listening capabilities, so please do try again. And if you are a Liberty that has only a single location and have set up your Liberty that way, we will now remove the all branch part of this button so that it will just be view information boxes. Custom searches, which we introduced in 834, which are basically an advanced search that you define and name, and it's managed here in the custom searches. Previously would only be of use if you put a keyword here, but what we've added in this release is the browse. So my recent publications just limits the publication year, and now if I browse, I will get these 15 results that all have relatively recent publication dates. Sort, which has expanded through the years, um, has always included the GMD, and we've had a recent request to be able to get rid of it. So there is a brand new parameter, 4421, and if you go there and turn it off, it will disappear from your sorts. And the last thing is how your user is identified. So my name appears here based on the way that names are managed in My Liberty, but we're offering you now the option for other data. So the new parameter 1149 would allow me to, for example, put my alias in parentheses after my name, or to have my alias or my alias with my name in parentheses, or student code or username. So if you would like something other than name in that position on the screen, just go to the new parameter 1149. All right, off to the staff side. So the first thing you might notice is that we have added the Softlink IC blog into the management uh, display. We work very hard to put uh, general interesting content there, and we realize that going to the website to get it or even taking a monthly email is often not immediate enough, so we've added it into your management screen. The other thing that we've done uh, quite generally about the information centers is that we have a new logo. It's quite similar to the original, but you'll see this on all of our correspondence and also here in your Liberty. So our first stop is going to be cataloging. So uh, let me just find a resource that I know uh, has a URL in it, which is what I want to show you. So here's our related URL. I'm going to edit the resource record. And previously, if you needed to make a change in this, it was um, a challenge. You had to start from scratch. So now, if you select the URL and then hit the Edit key, we've put it in a field so that you can actually make changes. For those of you who keep a careful watch on your authorities, um, you may have noticed that even if you verify all your existing authorities, if you do an import, you will then see new authorities that are not verified. So we're giving you some new options for that. These are both in import where I'm going now and also in the Z or Z cataloging module under the individual sources. So we've given you a new field at the bottom, verify authorities, which means that if this file or the Z3950 source you've chosen uh, is reliable to you, 
that way you can add your authorities automatically already verified. So we hope that will be a good efficiency for you. The next topic I want to touch on uh, could have been done in the integration uh, portion, but we're very excited about this. Uh, what we've done is we've added the ability to scan text into the mobile app so that you can enhance cataloging. That's why I'm talking about it now. So full disclosure, um, you can have up to free uh, 25 scans um, as part of your trial. And if you use it and you find that you really love it, uh, you can then make a small investment and add it into your Liberty permanent. So how would it work? Let's say that um, you find an interesting table of contents or preface or abstract that's in print somewhere and you want to add that into your cataloging. So first of all you have to have the latest version of the app which should automatically uh, update if um, you have your device set up that way. It's 105 and this version of Liberty, which is 835. And then what you would do is open your app, search for the resource that you wanted to change. Let me show you what that would look like. And then right on the app, if you're logged in as yourself, you would see a scan text option. So once you uh, select that, then the camera comes up, you can take an image of the text, and the mobile app will let you know it's working, and then uh, when it is successful, um, it will say text uh, scan successful and do two important things. It will insert the data into Liberty in a new field called extracted data extracted text and it will also uh, tag it for you. So let's just go to resources here and um, this is actually the one that I was looking for but I'll show you right here that if you look at tags you see text extracted so that's the tag that I created when I did it a few moments ago and we'll just use that to bring up our Bullfinch's mythology. And what you will see at the bottom of the record is text that was created from the mobile app. Now, the idea of extracted text is that it is a temporary field. Typically, you would just edit, grab the text, and move it into you know, an appropriate field within your cataloging. You will not see this field automatically, and um, it's most useful if you define it for both the resource details and also for the edit. But if you go to your bib types of the sorts of things that you might enhance, just add in this field. It's in the not used column now, extracted text, and then you can make use of this wonderful new feature. Now, in circulation, as if the circ desk were not smart enough, I've always thought it was pretty smart. Here I am in loan and Liberty is clearly expecting me to identify the borrower. But I've been really busy and what I really mean to be doing is return. So I will scan a barcode and you notice that Liberty automatically flipped into return uh, and that that is uh, the way in which you can have your Liberty work. If you like this, uh, what you should do is go to the new parameter 3213 and uh, let Liberty know that you prefer this approach. And a few other things uh, which I'll just talk about briefly. If you're using uh, HTML email, then you can add uh, the cover art into it as long as it's actually a thumbnail and not just an image that something like Google Books is pulling. And if you use interest notification or the similar um, electronic serial notifications, the hot links that are in those emails will now take you uh, or your user to the resource in OPAC at the detailed level rather than making a list of one, which is what it has done. And finally, again, especially for those using serials, the field that holds the serial issue name or um, for some monograph, something like a volume name, it's usually called copy ID, it's sometimes called item, 
That field is now added into uh, the definitions for the HTML email. So if you want to include that field in your emails, it is now available for you to add in. Moving on to our integration changes, let's go back to OPAC for a minute. And you, if you have Lumen, you know what the knowledge base is. So things in the knowledge base, similar to things in the OPAC versus cataloging, are placed there because they all contain what's known as a knowledge base category. And this new feature, and I apologize because I don't have it hooked up to an Illumin at the moment, but were I to click this uh, with everything correctly configured, you would see a list of knowledge base categories from your Illumin in the same way that if you were doing um, something like lists, the different lists would fill the screen. If your user uh, ticks on one of them, then they will be taken over to your Illumin with that piece of the knowledge base displayed. Also, searching Illumin is now a privilege so that if you want to allow searching Illumin from a keyword here to be given to some of your users but not all, you can do that. And finally, if the approach you want to take is to take those knowledge base articles that you've been filling Illumin with and bring them into Liberty, there is a, a nighttime task that will actually do a little export um, from Illumin and an import into Liberty with some fairly obvious mapping. And you can even put these um, knowledge base articles into a unique bib type. So that's yet another way in which you can create uh, integration between the two products. And finally, Liberty Link 105. Um, it's so full of features that we're actually going to do a separate update video on it. We hope that you will view it because um, the mobile app is yours and we keep enhancing it not only for your users but also as a staff tool. And just to whet your appetite a bit, let me run through a few of the new features. So in general, it will now use the color scheme from your Liberty so it will be appropriately branded. We've added many translations so that all of the language on the screens can be what you choose. And we made them very easy to find because if you go into the translation area and pull down the function menu, that one in the upper right hand corner, we've put all the mobile app translations together under list mobile keys. Your borrowers can now make use of um, additional document types such as Word and Excel for download. And if in circulation you uh, are uh, a site that uses the Guarantor Ward functionality, your guarantors can now view and renew items that are on loan to their wards. Reservations can now include the pickup branch. And if you allow requests out of your uh, mobile app, then if you change parameter 8105, they can add in a little extra message in addition to um, the description of the item for you. And finally, those Illumin knowledge base categories that were available in OPAC can also be available for your user in Liberty Link. When they click, they will be taken to Illumin, which will open in a browser uh, window on, uh, on their device. And for you, the scan content to enhance cataloging that we've already discussed. Also, you can now scan an image to use as your cover image or replace an image that you already have from your device. You can weed. And finally, you can capture barcodes um, by typing versus scanning. The original implementation assumed a scan for a barcode, but now you can open a text box and actually type as long as you get to parameter 8104. So as always, we hope that you and your users um, will get benefit and value from these new Liberty features and have a look for the new Liberty Link update video.